Merry Christmas, everyone. Just wanted to uh, bring you guys along on a ride to the pasture across the street to uh, go get a couple of bales to feed the cows. And uh, grab a bale of baleage out of the two. So, this is what uh, the one main paddock over here at the uh, new farm looks like. White. <laughs> Wish it was green right now. <laughs> but, uh, Yep, Christmas morning. Uh, just got done with the kids getting their presents from Santa Claus and uh, a little gift exchange here and there. Uh, had a nice surprise this morning. My mother-in-law showed up for about an hour away to come watch the kids enjoy their new gifts. So just uh, doing chores right now. And no, that's not my excuse for getting away from the mother-in-law. Uh, and actually, we get along really well. So. <laughs> <clears throat> um, this right down here below. There a little bit. Maybe I get a little bit closer. This is uh, one of the wooded paddocks. Hey, there's a nice little generous portion of a field down on the other side of it. But uh, they really like this when it's 90 degrees and hot and humid out. Get some out of the sun and the heat a little bit. It's amazing what a difference a shade tree makes. And then uh, this is the main paddock when I bring them over in May. We keep them out here for a couple weeks. And uh, this one stays open year round actually while they're over here. Uh, so we water out of here. Uh, eventually, I'd like to change that option that we have. And, uh, Make it to where all four paddocks have availability of water instead of them traveling. But uh, yeah, nice little frigid morning, but uh, nice. I don't have to go in above snow as far as I know so far. Uh, so we worked a little bit later than expected last night uh, to take care of the snow that we had so nobody had to work today. Uh, and I personally want to say Merry Christmas to everybody, myself. I don't know what's, see the face behind the mask, or should I say, see the face behind the camera. There ain't no mask here. <laughs> Maybe some say there should be. <clears throat> but uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, I love this time of year. Absolutely love it. Uh, especially the expressions on the kid's face in the morning when they get up. Yeah, might have to gear down here a little bit. And may have to throw a four-wheel drive. Because this little area is right here was a makeshift area that uh, I made up to load the cows out in October when we brought them home. Normally, we just actually run them across the street. Get a couple grain buckets and uh, a bunch of people and we just kind of watch the road make sure nobody comes flying over the hill and nothing gets hit but uh, this year I don't know I figured I'd try trailering them and I thought it would be easier but uh, honestly it was about three and a half hours of pure hell so definitely would like to get some kind of a better uh, load out system here anyways because you never know when you get a sick cow or something over here and it needs to be doctored up. It's a pain to try to get them separated because everything's so open over here. So that's definitely going to be one of the plans for the summer. Like I said, there's a ton. I'll be happy if 20% of them get done due to financial obligations and time. Because you all know summer is a very busy time of year for everybody between hay, taking care of your animals, if you have a family, you got to keep time for them. And uh, we like to do a lot of camping, so on the weekends, you know, we try to hook the camper up to the truck and uh, head away to a campground and sit by my favorite campfire chair and a nice cold bush light. One, two, three, four, maybe five, six, seven, or who knows. Who's counting? So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys for a quick ride along. Uh, I'm going to stop this video and then I'm going to continue to take more video, maybe as I'm pulling a bale of baleage out of the tube over there. And if it's 
possible, I'm going to try to edit it into one video. Uh, like I said, this is totally new to me. Uh, I didn't take editing in my senior year uh, in 1999. I don't think they offered it. I don't even know if YouTube existed. Probably did. I'm not that old, but... <laughs> um, so, and that being said, if I don't get to talk to you guys... Um, if you like this video, click the like button. If you like what I'm doing here, subscribe to my channel. Uh, you know, you get the notifications when I'm posting videos. Uh, I really enjoy this, so posting the video is not an issue with me right now. Um, and if I go on and on and on, the boring, the videos get too boring. Nobody be too afraid to say, hey, that's enough. Um, Hit the like button, share the videos, you know, if you like them with your friends. Uh, let's, you know, try to make this channel grow a little bit. Uh, I have a challenge to do. I will talk about that a little bit later. Uh, like I say, I'm not quite ready to do that, but I will. Um, thank you, uh, Midwest Alice fan. Uh, me and him have actually done quite a bit of talking lately, you know, since uh, Ben from uh, Beezer Cattle Company, which is another awesome channel. Um, shouted him out, so I kind of checked this guy's channel out, and uh, Jordan's a cool dude. Uh, you know, we've been talking back and forth between the comments, and uh, I'd like to continue that. He seems like a really nice kid, got his head on straight, and uh, got some awesome goals. Wish I had goals like that when I was 25 years old. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you last night, you know. You, you gave me a little bit of free publicity, and... Uh, I really appreciate it, you know. I got a couple subscribers out of that, and uh, I see a couple more video views. So uh, we were all stoked. My boys were, they came in the bedroom because they're constantly checking the channel to see if any subscribers are subscribing and the views and stuff like that. And uh, they watched the video, and uh, <laughs> they were like freaking out. So thank you very much, man. That made my night, made their night, and. Uh, like I said, Midwest Alice fan, the kid's got it going on, so check it out. Uh, that being said, I will be talking to you guys hopefully really soon.